We have started the clock. That's the countdown to the quiz. Now you probably know this already, but there's this thing called the YouTube Creator Academy, where you can learn about every single aspect of YouTube. There are 41 courses and for some reason I've decided this year I'm going to do every single one of them. And right now, you and me in real time, we're going to be doing the 10 fundamentals of a creative strategy. There is, <laughs> it's a bit of a lumpy title. There's a link in the description and it covers find your niche, vlog like a pro, shooting on mobile and how to hook them with our channel trailer. But at the end, you can see there, it's a course exam. Well, that's the quiz that we're going to do. I'm doing these one a week in real time with you so that you can play along with me. By the way, if you've not been here before, hello, I'm Neil Mossy. I'm a development producer, helping high achieving creators and performers just like you to get ideas out of your head and out onto here on YouTube to make the world happier. It's Saturday night here in the Happy Hearts and I hope the spirit of Saturday night is wherever you are watching this right now. Look, I've even got my game show t-shirt on, my London weekend television t-shirt to get in the quiz mood. I, I forgot to do the jingle last week, the LWT chimes. <laughs> But <laughs> enough of that, time to zip myself up. The clock has hit zero. Let's dive in and do this quiz. We have nine questions to get through. So let's start with question one. It's always difficult trying to get the whole thing on screen and to get me on the screen. So I'm gonna put me on and take me off. By the time we've done 41 of these, I'll have worked out how best to do this. Imagine you're going to start a music channel. How could you make sure that your channel is interactive? Ask your viewers what their favorite bands are and create playlists based off their answers. Encourage your fans to send you ideas for future videos. Record live performances and interview fans in attendance or all of the above. So how can you make sure that your channel is interactive? I'm going to go for all of the above. Oh, by the way, No More Newbie was playing along with last week's quiz and said that some of his answers differ from mine. And uh, YouTube Creator Academy doesn't actually tell you which answers are correct as you go along. So if you have any different answers from me as you go, please put them in the comments. It'd be great to see if you differed from, from any of mine. Question two. What are some of the best ways to make it seem like you're having a conversation with your audience? Interview your friends and family on screen. Look directly into the camera and lecture into it. Don't change the camera angle. I should change the angle sometimes, shouldn't I? Say hello, goodbye, and or thanks to your fans in every video. <laughs> I want to do that at the end of this video. I'm going to say hello, goodbye, and or thanks. Every now and then have a conversation with your neighbor and film it for your channel. So what are the best ways to make it seem like you're having a conversation with your audience? I will go with say hello, goodbye, and or thanks to your fans in every video. Question three. Why is it important for each of your videos to work as a standalone piece? If a video cannot stand alone, it will always have low watch time. Viewers don't typically watch more than one video in a series. If a video cannot stand alone, a viewer may not understand the full context and may leave. This isn't important because subscribers will have enough context. I will go for if a video can't stand alone, a viewer may not understand the full context and may leave. You get the context of this though, surely? We've got, I think, six questions left of the nine. Question four, which of these tactics could make your video more shareable? Develop a video about a hot topic, something culturally relevant at the time, Create an emotional response, such as making viewers laugh. Feature a guest star whom your viewers love. <laughs> or all of the above. I think I'm going to go for all of the above. Which of the following topics would probably be considered relevant to many viewers? A local sporting event. How-to videos. Videos of your mum's cat. Uh, I, I do want to now put up footage of my late mum's cat. There's Dee Dee and Amber. <laughs> it was taken before the days of HD. Uh, or live streaming while you're doing the dishes. Or it says washing the dishes. Live streaming while you're washing the dishes. 
So which of the following topics would be considered relevant to many viewers? I'm going to go for how-to videos. I don't like the hyphen in the how-to. It makes it look too urgent. <laughs> Question six. What's a good guideline to be more sustainable on your channel? Focus on upload quantity, not quality. Invest in a studio and hire help immediately. Never record more than one video per day. Or produce videos that take less time and labor. So what's a good line to be more sustainable? I would go for produce videos that take less time and labor. Three questions left. You're about to launch your show idea. Good luck. How many of the 10 fundamentals can help you? None, less than half of them, at least half of them, or all of them? Well, given it's an entire course on the YouTube Creator Academy, I'll, I will venture that it's all of them. <laughs> Question eight, are we gonna pass this week? What do you think? You know, with 41 courses, there's gotta be one where I fail spectacularly in front of you. Penultimate question. Whether you aim for a niche or broad audience is an example of which fundamental? Collaboration, discoverability, targeting, or being conversational? I think discoverability. Oh no, hang on. Or is it targeting? Oh, whether you aim for a niche or broad audience. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go for targeting. If you choose differently, please say in the comments. Oh, by the way, you know, there is a link to the whole course and that's in the description below. So you can follow everything that leads up to this quiz. Final question, question nine. What's an example of making your channel more interactive? Record several videos on the same day. Make sure that your concepts can be boiled down to one sentence. Communicate your upload schedule in your channel banner or pose a question that you want your audience to answer in the comments. I will go for pose a question that you want your audience to answer in the comments. And if you've reached this point in the video, please put the word buttress in the comments because I, I don't know if anyone's made it to question nine this week, but that'll be like a little wink. Just put buttress in the comments and then I'll get 10 comments with the word buttress in and then I'll know. Let's submit quiz complete. Now the way it says get my letter, I think this indicates that we may have passed this week. Yes, letter of completion. Neil Mossy for completion of great, no, creates great content. So there it is, my letter of completion. How did you do? I'd love to know, how are these quizzes going for you? I've got links to the first and second courses and I'll, I'll even try and put a link to next week's course when I get that done. But I'm hoping these quizzes uh, are, are helping in some kind of way. And right here is what YouTube thinks you should be watching next. Thanks for playing along and I'll see you next week. Right here, ow. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh. Was that a good one? I don't know.